Bugetovich. Okay. <laughs> Let's welcome Sergeant Bugetovich. The topic of, uh, the, of his speech is the anime within. The anime within, Sergeant Bugetovich. introduction before the timer starts. We, the Lisa said that we always have the improv, improv, we need to improvise the speeches in the first part. Sometimes you need to improvise in the second part of the speech because the unexpected things happen. So I like the challenges, so I'm going to accept it. Insert? Okay. Fifteen days ago, I, re I received one news that literally in that moment changed completely my life and about 95% of my plans was done. When you face the challenges, when you're going toward, towards your dream, and you, everybody experiences the challenges, you have always a choice when you fall down what to do. You can accept it as a reality and say, OK, I'm a failure. I'm not going to do anything. I always fail. Well, you can face with that and lay on the bed and say, I can do it no matter what. Now I'm going to ask one question. How many of you have the major goal that you want to achieve? Raise your hand, please. Very good. I'm going to ask another question. How many of you know that if you have to live your life over again, you will do it more than you've done this far? Please raise your hands up. Very good. What I want to do right now is to shake somebody's hands on your, left, on your right and left and Look him in the eyes like I'm doing in the fall and say to him, you're a genius. Do it quickly, please. You're a genius. You're a genius. You're a genius. No, man. You're a genius. I'm rubber. You're glue. Not something. You're a genius. You're a genius. Well, I'm not saying that to be courteous to you. Or to be kind to you and say that because it's true, you're a genius, you have something special. You don't have the talents, abilities, the games that you're supposed to use in, during your life, during when you're going to work your dreams. And when some of the challenges come, we all face the challenges, right? Perfect. Uh, that's the time you need to get up, stand and say, I can do it no matter what. Uh, the challenges happened to me, then I decided to move it on, was. <laughs> When you face something like that, you need to restructure your thinking. You need to work a lot on yourself. You need to work all the time because when the challenge just comes, that your mental conditioning is activated. It all depends on which level you are um, on development. Because um, I was going in one seminar, watching the Tony Robbins, Les Brown, Bob Proctor. I was looking at them and I said, I can do that. I can be the speaker. I can do that. But when the seminar was gone, was over, my mental condition was activated. I said, so yeah, you, you can't do that. You don't have the money of Tony Robbins. You have the ability of uh, Les Brown. You don't have the knowledge of Bob Proctor. And that is when your fears come on. Because you all have a fears. Fears of failure, fears of rejection, fears, uh, all kinds of fears. But if you say to yourself, I can't do it. Guess what happened? You will not do it. You will not go. You will not try it. You will not uh, ask him for help. But if you say to yourself, yes, I can do it. I can find a way. I can uh, look for some help. That your mental, uh, that your thinking will not change. The one of the way that I face with the fear is there's something I'm doing every day. That's my routine. How I'm dealing with this uh, kind of bad thoughts when you have the fears. Something that I do every day is I listen to audio books four or five hours every day. Motivational speaks, uh, motivational books. I hang out with the people who are um, different than anybody else who are don't uh, who are don't um, looking for excuses, don't want to uh, blame everybody else for their failures. I read the books every day, I go to meditate, meditation every morning. Every day I'm going to say, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, no matter what. That's, that is my ways of dealing with the fears. That's something I do. 
And uh, after one time, after um, some time, you can see that your thinking is changing all the time. And you suddenly start to think differently. You suddenly start to believe that you can do it. You're, you believe that you can face with the fears and the challenges times. You are not looking in the way that you were looking before. And there's a time when you see that you are not anymore a worse enemy. Because how many of you know that you were, when you're going towards your dream, that you've been your worst enemy? Raise your hand, please. We all been a worst enemy sometimes because of the self-talk that we have within. That enemy within will sometimes gonna kill us in the time of challenges. They're gonna put us down if we don't have the different self-talk to ourselves. So what I'm doing with that time I was decided, 15 days ago, I would decide, okay, that's the situation. I have that challenge. I have little, little choice, so I can go back to my home country to live the life of mediocrity, to just bring back to do the job that I was doing before, to hate my job actually, and to do to hang out with the people that has, don't know about the dreams, anything about that, or I had to choose to stay in Canada and try it one more time, no matter what. So I decided to stay in Canada, to try it, do it again. And 15 days, my, of course, my life started to change over and over again. And now is something that I was really surprised was that I look at myself in some different way, thanks to that challenge. I can't say what the challenge is about, but... And uh, I was here a few days ago from one uh, person, his doctor, Eric, I forgot his surname. He says, the different situation for a man or woman to die is when you're laying on your deathbed and sending around your family, and praying for you when you see you looking at your dreams, uh, you achieve your dreams, be happy during the life, do what you want to do. But he just says, just imagine if you will be on your deathbed and standing around you, the ghost of the dreams, the ideas they were given you by life, the skills that you never used, the abilities that you never developed, standing around you and looking at you with large angry eyes, he says, we came to you. And only you could give us life. And now we must die with you forever. And I'm asking all of you, if you die now, what dreams will not be pursued? At? What ideas will not be born? What business will not be grown? What books will not be written? What songs will not be sung, uh, written? Who will die? Did you live your life on purpose? Or did you, live by, or did you live your life all the time with the fears and not go towards the dream. Ask, ask yourself that question. Only you know you only you know the answer. That's all. Thank you very much. Mm.